Okay, it's another day and uh, last day of the week. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm going to take off what I put on yesterday only because I want to do it better. And uh, let's see how it all works out. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I got both cameras perfect now. What happened yesterday, my uh, camera on the uh, right side uh, started drifting downwards. And so everything was from about here uh, down and uh, instead of from here down. And so it didn't actually show anything I was doing. And I've just got to pay attention to uh, checking that every once in a while because... Cameras have a tendency to, well, they have minds of their own, you might say. Um, I had a, one of my friends on YouTube who commented yes, uh, today that uh, he was rather perplexed when I covered up the uh, lovely neck mu muscles that I worked on with the hair, but that's what happens. I mean, you, you create something and then you have to have that under whatever you're going to have over it um yeah i totally understand that i hate uh having to cover up a lot of stuff that i work on but Now this is where I got to be real careful because anything that is away from the main body takes extra cost to uh, reproduce in mold and wax and bronze and you have to be massively careful not to overdo it or in this case underdo it but you don't want to have it's so difficult that they can't mold it or cast it now i did notice in a photograph of jim bridger the younger one the younger photograph that he did have rather messy hair Nothing wrong with that, it's just something you observe when you're researching. It's rather warm in the studio today. Okay, it's not the most glamorous side of the uh, 
clay because I'm still working on this side. But uh, I've got to do the wrinkles on the back of the shirt too. And I've got this aside where I'm going to put the uh, long tat, the long loose ends of the scarf that uh, tied onto his head. Whether I have it coming, being blown this way or being blown this way, I have no clue right now. But it's got to be done. There's the knot for it. I just got to figure out what to do and i've got the the hair parted right there because that's the wind effect but uh anyway i you can't overthink these things but then again you do sort of have to make it believable okay I'm going to work on the wrinkles of the shirt sleeve. Now, it's a leather shirt. And the leather would be just a little tighter on his arm than a loose-fitting cotton shirt. But you still got to have wrinkles. And, those, and some of this will be covered up by fringe blowing in the in the wind i'll make the fringe out of uh monster clay now wherever you bend your body wearing leather clothing especially when it gets wet it'll have a tendency to pucker and so i've got to figure out where it's going to pucker It'll certainly pucker at the uh, elbow. And it's going to be rather tight down here towards his wrist. I'm going to put a pucker right there. When you work with a real soft clay, you got to be careful where you touch because you can screw up something that took you a little time to create. Again, I'm putting wrinkles that will probably be covered up by fringe, but you still have to have them. Because you don't know how much of that wrinkle is going to show after the fringe is on. I'm starting the lower part of this shirt, which will be hanging out. And uh, I don't know if that's going to be right like that.
this kind of leather shirt would be split right at the bottom part of the uh, shirt where the two halves of the skins are sewn together. can't interfere with the uh, belt buckle so you gotta sort of work around it All right, I'm going to have to take a break, and I'll come back next week with fresh eyes. Look at what I've done today, and uh, either change or keep, and just improve. But uh, that's going to have to do it for today. I think I'm reflecting the wind's movement and the clothes reaction to it I think it's coming out pretty good that way there'll be a little small fringe on the edge of the uh, shirt so you'll tell that it's his part of his uh, upper clothing all right everybody that's gonna have to be it for today and uh, thank you for coming along on this little journey in creation of a work of art Works of art take time. And when you're doing a historical or period piece, you have to do a lot of research to get just everything just right. And I hope I have shown you that. It's fun though, because it's fun to relive history through your work. I love history. Alright everybody. And uh, have a great weekend. And a safe weekend. Uh, the weather is changing. and uh, So get out if it's nice. Enjoy the weather while you can. Good night everybody. If you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.